On behalf of Allegheny's Queers and Allies, we would like to say that it gets better. As I think for most people, it started for me fairly young. Um, and I had crushes on girls, and I wasn't sure what to do with that. I realized I liked, I did not like girls at a young age. Yeah, I was 15 when I started feeling like I might not be heterosexual. And I knew that there were certain social boundaries that you did not cross. That was just something that was not acceptable. And, um, you know, people would get bullied and made fun of if they were suspected to be gay or if their gender presentation was somehow seen as different. And at 16, I decided to come out in front of literally my entire school. I was the third or fourth gay person to come out in my high school, so there wasn't a whole lot of gay visibility. Uh, we had a day of self-discovery where we did a silent movement exercise and everybody stood in a big circle and came forward uh, when they identified from a core cultural identifier. And I decided to come out that day as bisexual with two other people in the whole school and I could feel everybody staring at me. When I did come out, I lost a few friends. I remember coming out to my friends and them telling me that it was great, they were happy for me, but I had to keep it a secret. Um, that that's not something that you want spreading around the school. During my junior year, there was a girl who I didn't know, I had never spoken to her before, and she had started this rumor about a friend of mine, how, you know, we were sexual deviants and we were basically sleeping in all these areas of high school. I felt very alone a lot of the time. I became depressed and tried to kill myself three times. And so it was very difficult in that environment, um, to come out, and so I was very closeted in high school. I just decided to wait it out, because I knew that there wasn't really any way that it was gonna get easier. It wasn't really something that was an option. Um, not that it was like taboo, it was just something that I wasn't really aware of most of my life. Up until I went to college, which is where I really started to think about and to question uh, my sexual identity. I came to college questioning. I really didn't know what to think. I felt like I didn't have proof. I felt like somehow I needed proof of things. And I was just, I was afraid. I was afraid to even, to even think about it. Um, because I think deep down I knew, already knew the answer. But um, as I came out, it seemed like the more people I came out to, the more of a support network I built. Even if there were people that reacted negatively, they were outweighed by all the people that were very supportive. And I also came out to my parents. She stared at me for probably a minute straight, and she blinked, and she looked away, and she said, she said, I still love you and support you no matter what. And that was the first time, I think, that was the first time in my life that I had ever cried from joy. It's probably going to be the only time in my life. It just a huge weight was off of me. And mostly it was okay, but my mom did have some issues. I know like the next day she, she told me maybe I shouldn't come out to the rest of the family because after college I was just gonna move to California and New York and you know get a job and doing movie stuff over there and so you know the family wouldn't have to know. Um, and that, that hurt. It made me feel like you know she never wanted to meet my partner and she never wanted to hear about my life anymore. And at one point she said to me, I don't understand what I've done wrong. And I said, Mom, there's nothing wrong, right? For me this was exciting and it was a time of trying to celebrate because I'd finally kind of figured something out about myself. Um, but for her it took a while to adjust to that. But, but since then, she has gotten so much better. And she just needed some time to get used to it, just like I needed time to get used to it myself. She's much better now. She loves me. She loves my partner dearly, um, treats her as a second daughter. Now she follows gay, issue, gay issues in the news, and she gets angry, right, when she doesn't think that the Obama administration is doing enough for gay people. And I told them, I said, hey, Dad, I'm gay. And he was like, I know. When I was like, what? <laughs> He's like, we always knew. And from that point on, it was just like, all right. This is, I guess, an interesting story for me because I didn't have a story um, that unfortunately, um, or fortunately doesn't sound like what a lot of stories sound like where people have to 
struggle to find their place in, uh, or sense of community in their families, a sense of community in their schools and workplaces. I know that a lot of a lot of you have it worse than I had it, even at the you know even at the beginning, um, and that breaks my heart. But for me, what's gotten easier, I've gotten to know myself better, uh, but I've also found community in a way that I didn't necessarily have, certainly I didn't have in high school. When you get older, you find your friends, you find your real friends that accept you without a moment's hesitation, um, regardless of who you are, what you are, how you identify yourself. Just hanging out with people that identify the same way as you can do enormous things. It's not about dating all the time. It's not about pursuing a significant other or a partner. Sometimes it's just about being around people that also feel the same way as you and knowing that you're not the only one. That has made the struggle much easier. You have a support system, you have a support network, you're not fighting alone, you're fighting with other people, uh, and you really are trying to make the world a better place. It's a challenging process, and it, it doesn't stop changing. There are going to be people who might not necessarily agree with you, there might be people who are against you, and there might be times when you feel like you're alone, but you're not, you're not alone. I want you to know that. It will get better. And it does get better, and it's starting to get better because people are starting to change their way of thinking. And even if it just starts with our generation, that's, it'll get better from here. All people should embrace their sexuality in, in loving and mutually responsible ways, and, and I believe God re rejoices when people do that. And I believe God weeps when any of us uh, stand in the way of someone who can do that fully. Here's some ally and nerd love. I'm going to read a portion of Valerie's letter from V for Vendetta. An inch. It is small and it is fragile and is the only thing in the world worth having. We must never lose it or give it away. We must never let them take it from us. I hope that whoever you are, you escape this place. I hope that the world turns and that things get better. But what I hope most of all is that you understand what I mean when I tell you that, even though I do not know you, and even though I may not meet you, laugh with you, cry with you, kiss you, I love you. With all my heart, I love you. Anyone who's out there and listening, I just wanted to tell you that it does indeed get better. It may seem dark now, but I know that I'm a lot stronger of a person because I went through the pain I did when I was in high school. And I know that you can go through this too. It gets better after high school. It gets better even in high school. Um, the, longer, the longer you're out there waving your flag, showing your colors, the more it gets better. My aunt killed herself two years ago. And I wish she could have seen this. And I wish I could have told her that it got better. All you have to do is keep holding on. And I know that I say all that you have to do, and I know that's a lot. I know that is a lot to expect of someone. I know that that's really, really hard, but it's worth it. I, I wish that there was a way that I could make it better for all of you right now, out there, being in high school. and. Even the kids in middle school, but just believe me. Believe me when I say it gets better. It, it gets, gets better. better. It does get better. And so with that, I say it does get better. Uh, it does get better that there are people like me who may take our time about it, but eventually do come out and say, no, I don't share that belief. So I'd like to say that it does get better. Hang in there. Um, you're too good to give up. It really does get better. There are many places you can go if you are feeling depressed or suicidal. If you need help, please call 866 for you trevor The Trevor Project is a crisis intervention hotline that you can call and operators will be glad to listen to whatever's going on in your life. Look out for those resources, start a resource, be a resource, and love everyone that you come into contact with, no matter what they are, who they are, or how they are. Thank you. Make this better! Woo!